First and Lego have a, a great long-standing relationship. We've been partners for over 20 years now. The partnership really stems from a fundamental philosophical alignment about presenting opportunity to young people through hands-on, engaging experiences and making learning fun. So First and Lego Education are working really closely together to accomplish the shared goals that we have. We're looking at obviously increasing the number of children who think that a STEM career is something that they can personally achieve. We know that as kids age, they start losing interest in STEM. If we wait until they're in high school, they've probably made some decisions already about what they can and cannot do. They don't think it's something that they can progress in. They don't think it's something that's going to interest them. And First Lego League Junior is there really to show them that they can have fun, they can enjoy STEM learning, they can enjoy science and engineering. The First Lego League Junior program is for kindergarten through about fourth grade. It's kind of an introduction to both building and coding or programming, but it's also introducing kids not just to STEM, but how you work together as a team and how you collaborate. Our partnership with LEGO allows us to bring uh, these programs down to our youngest learners in elementary school and middle school so that we can engage kids early, get them excited about the possibilities that science and technology can enable in their lives and their careers. That's really our passion, is to figure out how to make this available and accessible to every kid everywhere. Because of the shared goals that we have, the LEGO Foundation was able to provide $1.6 million to FIRST in installments over the course of three years. Additionally, we're able to give over $400,000 in LEGO product to be used in all of our programs throughout the world. This grant from the LEGO Foundation helped us to impact the lives of over 45,000 underserved children across the globe. We were able to fund 135 sites in the United States and Canada. In addition, the grant funded participation in Mexico, Ukraine, South Africa, China, and Israel. Because of our commitment to inclusion and diversity, nearly 50% of our program's participants were female. The grant has really helped grow the impact in the countries where it was implemented, and we think that every kid deserves a fair chance to have a good education and a good future. So we're really excited specifically to support programs like First Lego League Junior that we know have a big impact, and that's why we, Lego Education, invest so much into this program. The grant has really allowed us to scale and to bring the program to children all over the world. However, it's really hard to start programs in areas that have low resources or have multiple barriers, such as the cost of the program, transportation, the cost of space, or having access to mentors, coaches, and training. So partnering with the LEGO Foundation has helped us remove those barriers and bring our programs to more students who are in need. Within the United States and Canada, urban, rural, black, Latino, high poverty, and female demographics were where we focused our efforts. And when we can bring these programs to young people from those backgrounds, it really becomes game changing. It's really important to reach girls and minorities because they are greatly underrepresented in the STEM fields. Is that because of lack of opportunity? Probably. It's certainly not for lack of ability. So by using the foundation grant to reach underserved populations, we're leveling the playing field a little bit. FIRST has made a point to look at how we can make our programs much more accessible and inclusive. Equity, diversity, and inclusion are an essential part of how we develop these programs. We want to make sure we reach every kid from every type of background and every type of situation and give them the opportunity to have a better future. Typically in our First Ugly Junior program, we are serving about 38% girls, um, much lower percentages for youth of color. It's about 4% for African American Black and about 7% for Hispanic. And also when we look at economic advantage and disadvantage, looking at free reduced lunch stats, um, it's only about 9% of students who qualify for free and reduced lunch. But with the LEGO Foundation grant and really being purposeful and focused, we've been able to serve about 50% girls, about 29% African American, and about 20% Hispanic, and also 75% who um, qualify for free and reduced lunch. So we've done a much better job at reaching the students that we're trying to reach through that support of the foundation. First matters because it really 
sort of brings a wide array of capabilities and experiences to young people. Um, it helps get them excited about uh, the possibilities when they become proficient at science and technology and engineering and math, but it also lets them understand how to use those skills to make the world a better place. LEGO values education because it's part of our DNA, and the grant has been really, really helpful in creating the next generation of builders and creators and innovators. STEM encompasses collaboration, communication, critical thinking, creativity, resilience, perseverance, adaptability. If we take the Lego analogy of you know building, we, the, the engineers of tomorrow, the builders of tomorrow, those, those children that are gonna be influencing and changing and building the world, I think we need to help kids nurture the feeling in themselves that I can be that person who brings about that change.